Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. I just finished some brush hogging and now we're gonna dig some post holes for a porch, I believe. So, if you're new to the channel, this is a John Deere 2038R. This is, I got this at a local farm and home store. I don't even know what brand this post hole digger is, but it's just same kind of generic digger you're gonna get at any of your tractor supply stores. It's got a nine inch auger bit on it and I've only used it one time. So should be a good time. With this first hole being right up against the wall, we start off running the auger really slow and decided not to speed it up until we saw some reason that it needed to speed up. Going down. Need to pull forward. There you go. Whoa. Now I'm down. First time we hit rock, it started bouncing, and we were working through that, but at some point, it just grabs and sucks itself down, and I couldn't pull it back up. On that first hole, as soon as it started to pull itself down quickly, I shut the PTO off. And in that case, I was able to pull it back out with just the power of the tractor. On these future holes, we decided to keep the PTO running when it started sucking itself down, thinking that eventually it would free up and pull itself up, but we weren't that lucky. The two tractors could not pull this out of the ground without me spinning the PTO, which is hard on it starting it in a bind. That felt like an exact recre recreation of what I saw in the uh, operator's manual for this. So I bought this post hole digger for a specific job and it cut like butter on all the holes I drilled with it the first time until the very last one I hit a piece of rock and it got stuck. Now in that scenario I didn't have a second machine so I disassembled it, took the PTO off and had to turn it backward by hand and it took me like two hours to get it out of the hole. And we're hitting some rock in this scenario too and I think that's what's causing it to suck down.
Our next theory was that if we stopped more often and lifted the bed out to clean out the dirt, it wouldn't suck itself down. And you'll see in a second whether or not that worked. I'm sure some of you already are, but feel free to leave me any helpful comments about how to avoid this problem. And just in general, tips for having better luck with a post hole digger. I definitely think it would have been worth it to rent one for the skid loader again so that we would have a reverse function to get it out of a jam if needed. Plus the skid loader would just have the lift power to pull it out. So you won't find that in the how-to manual. It's kind of a rough one, but you know what? That's just life. That's we need to get something done. We got it done with what we had. So it's not helping one bit that we've had six inches of rain in the last 120 days, and that's the according to the National Weather Service. I can't remember a significant rain since June. It has been a brutal drought. You guys can see it in my pond. But I appreciate you watching the video. I'll put links on the screen to more of our videos. I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Woo woo.